Good morning girls and boys. Today I'm going to read the story by Julia Donaldson. It's called What the Ladybird Heard Next. Once upon a farm lived a ladybird and these are the things that she saw and heard. The cow in her shed, the horse in his stall, the cat who purred on the garden wall, the barn full of straw, the field full of sheep, the kennel where the dog lay fast asleep, the fish in the pond, the drake and the duck, the hive of bees and the heap of muck, the hog in the sty, the goose in her pen and the coop which was home to the fat red hen. Now the fat red hen with her thin brown legs laid lots and lots of speckled eggs. But then, oh help, oh no, oh dear, those eggs began to disappear. Each morning, all the eggs had gone and the animals asked, what's going on? I'll find out, said the ladybird. So she flew and she flew and she saw and she heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a torch and a sack and a cunning plan. They were Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, who had been to jail but were out again. Said Lanky Len to Hefty Hugh, let's steal another egg or two. But Hefty Hugh said, listen Len, I vote we steal the fat red hen. We'll make our way to the chicken coop and scoop her up in one fell swoop. Just think of all those eggs she'll lay us and all the money folk will pay us. And Len replied, we'll soon be rich. It makes my fingers start to itch. The little spotty ladybird told the animals what she heard. Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len are planning to steal the fat red hen. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss said the goose, quack said the duck. Nay said the horse, oink said the hog. Ba said the sheep and woof said the dog. And the two cats meowed, those big bad men, we can't let them steal the big red hen. But the ladybird said, listen, quick, I've thought of a really clever trick. At dead of the night, the two bad men opened the coop and snatched the hen, but the red hen began to cluck. Why don't you steal the downy duck? Her eggs are bigger, far than mine, and people say they taste divine. Good thinking that, said Lanky Len, the tiptoe to the pond. But then... The downy duck began to quack. Oh, please don't put me in your sack. Why don't you steal the goose instead? She's bigger still and better fed. Her eggs are huge and tasty too. Good thinking that said Hefty Hugh. But when they tried to seize the goose, she hissed at them. I'm not much use. Why don't you steal that great big bird, the super duper snuggly snared? What? said Len. And who? said Hugh. The goose replied, I thought you knew. She lay the biggest eggs of all. Each one looks like a rugby ball. The duck joined in. She's friendly too. I'm sure she'll, she'd love to live with you. She'll put an end to all your cares. You'll, you'll very soon be millionaires. Where is the snared? asked Lanky Len. Not far away, chipped in the hen. She lives inside that big brown heap. You'll find her there. She's fast asleep. The two thieves laughed. We've got it made. Let's take turns with the farmer's speed. They dug and they dug and Len said, Phew, it stinks. And Hugh said, so do you. And Len said, where's that giant bird? The super duper snuggly snared. She's rather shy, the goose replied. She must be hiding deep inside. So they dug a tunnel nice and deep. That's it, 
said Hugh. Now in we creep. I think we're nearly there, said Lane. This nerd will soon be ours. But then... The heap collapsed and Hugh said, Yuck! We're covered head to toe in muck. And Lane complained, There is no snared. They just made up that giant bird. Then the other animals gather round and all let out a deafening sound. Moo! <laughs> Moo! Oink! Bah! Woof! Woof! Meow! What a racket! What a row! The farmer woke and said, Goodness me! And he had a word with his prize queen bee. And the bees chased after the two bad men who never came back to the farm again. Then the cow said, Moo! And the hen said, Cluck! Hiss! said the goose. Quack! said the duck. Nay! said the horse. Oink! said the hog. Bah! said the sheep. And woof! said the dog. And the farmer cheered, and the both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word, and neither did the snuggly snared. That's the end. I hope you enjoyed the story today.